We hope you're in the mood to go fast because today on At Your Leisure, Darren and Jill are putting the pedal to the metal at one Las Vegas destination where the speed is extreme. They'll find out what it takes to compete in the racing world. Then Chad Booth travels back in time as he fulfills his cowboy dream of climbing on a horse for a real cattle drive. How can you enjoy this same adventure? He'll have all the details. Finally, Reese Stein discovers some heat in the growing cold of Wyoming. Own the outdoors now with AYL. Welcome to At Your Leisure, I'm Jill Kinder. And I don't know if you can hear that noise, but we're in a really fun place today. We're down here in Lost Wages, and uh, we're at the Exotic Racing School, and we're gonna go out and take some Italian stallions out for a little ride. He's a little excited, but that's Darren Kinder. We've got our daughter, Jaden, and her friend, Gracie, with us. And uh, even Jaden's excited about this one. She is, the, just the noise here just gets your adrenaline going. We're so excited to get going, and, and they're gonna brief us in a few minutes, so let's, let's go. Let's go check it out. Exotics Racing, well, we started seven years ago. Uh, back when we had four or five cars, and now it's grown into a fleet of 65 cars, give or take. So I've been here since day one. As a track today, we have everything from drifting ride-alongs to exotic experience. Also, we have racing series stuff that's happening. Pretty much people come out and drive our purposely built race cars, so guys can come out and actually earn their race license to drive out here with us and compete anywhere around North America as well. We start you from the ground up. You know, I, I've had people where it's describing which pedal does what, you know, you get people a lot from, you know, Asia show up who don't speak English, who take the train to work, you know, where it's, it's completely new. Um, and then we have kids come who are racers. You know, I've had, you know, Porsche Cup drivers, I've had Lamborghini, you know, um, you know, president of racing clubs come, all incredible drivers and same thing. There, there's never an end to how, what you can learn in a car. You come in, you would check in over at the, uh, the office checkout center right over here. And then by all means, usually about 30, 45 minutes early, so you have a chance to kind of walk around, view the facility, check out the cars, sit inside of them, push all the buttons. So we're not a dealership, so you know, you can pretty much do whatever you gotta do, ask us honest questions, what we do and don't like about the cars. And then uh, from there, you're gonna go into the classroom, and in the classroom, they kind of give you the briefing about uh, what to expect on the racetrack, what the cones mean, what the instructors expect of you, and just kind of give you an idea of what you're getting into onto the track. Now, once you hop out of the classroom, you'll hop into the discovery laps out there, and you go around for two laps, they show you, you know, what we talked about just in the classroom. Okay, so what we're doing is we're basically going out there to uh, show people the track for the first time. So you're gonna go out there, I'm gonna show them driving line, gonna tell them everything that uh, they need to know before they actually get behind the wheel and drive themselves. Time we're straight, we wanna be at full throttle here, going as fast as we can. Now, unfortunately, this is a V6 Cayenne with four or five adults in it, so it's not very fast. You guys will always break at the orange. I'm going to break a little bit later, just because I want to show you we could use a firm <laughs> break in a straight line. Stop! <laughs> I can't get out! We come out? I'm stuck! Hard break back into the braking zone. It was good. It was good. No big deal. No big deal. <laughs> I've known people that have had cars. Normally, if you know someone with a Ferrari, they're not going to let you touch it. If they do, it's going to be slow around the block. Um, so, so to get in the car, to be able to drive it, you know, the way it was meant to, in in a, in a controlled environment, um, with someone in the car with you, you know, letting you know, hey, you're driving a little aggressive. Like this is going to get you in trouble, and here's why. Or you're doing great. Let's push a little faster. You know, you're, you're doing well. I want to reward that. Let's get your speed up. Really let you see how this thing can move. Um, so it's it's. It's that kind of combination of having the ability to, to move around a track, to have the freedom on the track for yourself, and have someone next to you giving you the confidence to want to push the car. We just got out of driving school, and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yeah, they, they get you pretty <laughs> jacked up in they there. Do. Well, we're going to go out and do a couple test laps, and while we do that, you're going to go to our travel adventure. There's nothing more iconic about life in the West than a cattle drive. Now, if you're like me, a kid who grew up in the cities of the West, we spent our childhood dreaming that we would be out here with our 10-gallon hat and our chaps riding the range with Dusty and the gang. Well, now it actually can happen. Many cattle ranches, working cattle ranches, when they move their summer and winter rangelands with their cattle, now invite people to come along. It helps them defray the costs of sustaining the ranching way of life. 
When you get out on trail with real cowpokes that make their living wrangling cattle and moving them from place to place and taking care of the ranch, you get a different perspective. It's not quite what you see in Rawhide or on one of those old TV shows where you had cattle running across the West, but it is a very daring way of life. The Utah Farm Bureau recognizes that there are a handful of rancher operators, not just the Heaton Ranch, that actually get assistance from people who are trying to take working vacations. It's a real trend and it's growing across the West. Now, I'm not out here today because I've got special connections. This is something that anyone like you can do if you desire to do it. And it's a win-win situation because you get the experience and the cattle ranchers get a hand that they desperately need in this day and age. A few extra bodies on a cattle ride makes a big difference, even if they're not super skilled cowboys. But if you can help keep the herd together and moving, that's a big lift for the ranchers. It helps me get my cattle from our summer range to our winter range. Probably the most cost-effective way is trailing them. You know, I think more and more people, they grow up in the city and they don't, they don't understand where you know, where milk comes from, where beef comes from, you know, different things that are raised out in the country, basically. So, you know, it gives people an opportunity to come out and see, you know, what it takes to get that meat in the grocery store. After you herd a cow for 10 days, you know, sometimes it makes you appreciate the taste of beef a little more, you know, especially that one that kept trying to get away. Well, this is a vacation that you choose and pay for. It's not one that you can choose to do for just a couple of hours. This is an investment that is all day long, and the days start early. First thing this morning, we got up and, and got a few horses saddled and went out to the range where the cattle were being held before we left. Uh, we gathered them, counted them through the gate, and then we drove them about 10 miles down here to this crowd right here trying to not to lose any. I'm sure we did, but we tried hard not to. In the days of the Old West, when they actually drove cattle across the open range from Texas up to the Union stockyards in Chicago, the largest herds that any cattle operator would run would be about a thousand head of cattle. Well, we were pretty close on this one because as the gate counted through, there were 800 on the trail. While many working ranches from Grass Creek to Monticello here in the state of Utah offer cattle drives, there's one thing unique about the run that the Heaton Ranch makes, and it is the terrain that you go through. I am convinced that if John Houston had known what this land looked like, the set for many John Wayne movies would have been slightly different. You know, what was surprising to me about this cattle drive is I thought they'd be guys like me that, you know, grew up as little kids wearing cowboy boots that were too big and just okay, running around cool. pretending that we were cowboys with stick horses. But no, these people come from all over the world. On our cattle drive, we had people from England, Australia, France, from really all over the world. You know, I've always thought this job is kind of like traveling around the world but not ever going anywhere. I mean, you get to meet all these people and everybody has a a different story and different experiences. <laughs> There's some very interesting people that you get to meet. And yeah. Basically, it's their little niche in their part of the country, just like we kind of have a niche here. These guys are a great group of people, mm -hmm. and they are doing an outstanding job this time. Sometimes it's not so good, but these guys are great. While this may feel like the Old West, there are modern conveniences. Instead of camp beans and dry biscuits on a fire and a bedroll under a tree, when you end the day, there's a camp with a nice hot dinner waiting for you. And you can guarantee that it will be there in the morning and it'll be there every night. When the sun finally goes down and you're just about ready to think that you've got a 24 hour a day job, the doggies find their pasture and camp is there waiting for you. And as you slide off that saddle and you say, I just can't move anymore, there's still an inner excitement about tomorrow. I don't have legs anymore. <laughs> loved it, loved it. My knees are sore. <laughs> My family were right. I am crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sore and I'm tired and I'm ready for, I think, eight more days or seven more days of this. So it's all good. Well, I think it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to get to do something that not very many people get to do anymore. I think it's a great, great opportunity for them. I think these guys get to live their dream. I'm glad we get to be a part of it. 
Well, it's the end of the day. I guarantee that after dinner, there will not be a lot of late stories by the campfire because everybody here is tired. Now, if you think about it, this is one day in 600 days of ranching it takes to get a cow from birth to marketplace. And it's a $12 billion industry here in the state of Utah. Think how hard the cowboys work to earn it. Think about that next time you sit down for beefsteak dinner. For At Your Leisure, I'm Chad. There's a little place on a Utah map where I was raised, where my heart's at, where the sagebrush grows wild and high, and the stars come out at night. Oh, there ain't nothing like being raised in the basin with the Ute reservation, skin starvation, that Duchesne County life. Look south to adventure. Look south to beauty. Look south to San Juan County. Out here, the road goes on forever, and what you'll find will change how you see the world. Climb on your OHV and discover forgotten landscapes and vistas that challenge the imagination. From Blanding and Monticello to the cliff faces of Monument Valley, we're open and ready for you to explore. San Juan County, Utah's Canyon Country. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Reagan Ledbetter. The air is a little bit cooler. The leaves are turning. Soon, it's going to be winter. We're at Hillside Tire and Service. I'm standing next to Tom, and we are needing to maybe winterize our cars, I'm thinking. Start thinking about it for sure. Yeah. Um, fall time, you just start thinking about winter coming up and getting your car prepared so you don't get stuck somewhere where you don't want to be when it's very, very cold, no, whether I... it's uh, jump starting or just issues with the vehicle on the road somewhere, so. What's the first thing I need to think about? Um, I would worry, I would get your coolant checked. It gets really cold, so I'd make sure your coolant level protection is gonna be cold enough to handle the temperature so that nothing doesn't hurt your engine, per se. Um, then I would probably go to your tires. Obviously, the air pressure is going to drop in your tires. You want to make sure you have adequate air pressure so you don't cause an issue with your tires. Do I need to be changing my tires to any kind of winter tire, or is my average tire going to make it through the winter? Um, that would be the third thing, would be checking tread depth or checking checking your tire wear. Um, so some tires are actually mountain flake rated in all season, which means they're going to be adequate for the winter time. If you're driving most of the time in the valley, a good all season tire should be adequate for you. If you're going to be going up to the canyons or whatever, you might want to get something a little bit more aggressive or, or, or a winter tire. Uh, most of it's just your traction. Um, just having a good tire. Obviously, if you're off-roading stuff, it's probably going to be deeper snow or wherever you're going. Um, more kind of uh, almost like putty, so it's going to stick together. So you want something that's going to clean the tread base out easier so you get better traction and don't get stuck. All right, and tire pressure, it's like the located on my tire. It'll tell me plaque. what I need. On your tire or to make it easier on your door placard or most vehicles on the driver's side, if you open that, it'll tell you what the factory recommends. Part of uh, doing a winter check on your vehicle would be checking your wiper blades as well. Obviously, if it's a nice rainstorm or a snow, you want to be able to clean your windshield off so you can continue to see where you're driving. Um, part of it is as well as the washer fluid. Um, there's different types of washer fluid. We generally use the winter washer fluid so it doesn't freeze. Are cars usually in good shape when they come in here, or are you thinking, oh gosh, people need to really pay attention to their vehicles better? You'd be surprised in the middle of winter when it's snowing that people come in with ball tires and stuff and they leave with ball tires. It's just something they don't want to spend money on. So it's, it's amazing every year that people still get around, so. Well, Hillside Tire is going to take care of you and make sure Absolutely. that you and your family are going to be safe driving in your vehicle, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. All right, come see Tom. More at your leisure head. You know, mountain biking is a great activity, particularly in southern Utah in the colder months of winter. Here we are in November, and it's still delightful weather down in the Grand Staircase Escalante. The thing is, when you come back from your bike ride, you're all dirty. That's the great thing about having an RV from Ray City RV, because you've got a nice rest stop waiting for you at the trailhead. Make your dinner and enjoy a beautiful sunset. Ray City RV, your low price leader since 1946.
Our Trailhead segment today is sponsored by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. That's that great place where you can order all kinds of accessories for your ATV or your motorcycles, and they'll ship it right to your door. RockyMountainATVMC.com. This Christmas, give the perfect gift from Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You can enjoy a new Honda Snowblower, a Honda 2000 Generator. The kids will love a 2018 Polaris Outlaw, a 2018 Honda CRF50, or a 2017 Polaris Ace. And for the ultimate family gift, the Climate Control Polaris Ranger at Stedman's. You'll find a Christmas gift that will be enjoyed all year long. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's only 30 miles back. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are here at Exotics Racing in Las Vegas, and we are so excited. <laughs> if you, you can't tell, that's her excited voice. And uh, this will be our new company car from now on. Just make yes. sure you tell Chad we pick one of these up on the company credit card. Yeah, this and, is the uh, one I'm going to drive. So, <laughs> so it's pretty exciting. And, and we've got, uh, this place is really unique because they offer a lot of different experiences. You can um, go out in a drift car. You can, uh, they'll take you out just for a ride experience. Or you can saddle up to any one of these race cars and take them out on the track and have the experience of your life. It's amazing. Even the discovery lap was exciting. I've got butterflies already. <laughs> oh, and now, God. here's your car. This poor <laughs> little car is what I'm gonna have to drive around the track. Oh, I know it sucks to be me, but <laughs> this is a beauty and I've always wanted to drive a Lamborghini and I'm gonna get my chance today. Awesome. Now we have a little thing going that uh, whoever has the fastest lap time between her and I has to buy dinner tonight. You feel good? Yep. Love it, hate it? Yep. Fantastic. Seatbelt okay. for you. There she goes. There goes Jill. How are you feeling? Uh, scared. Why are you scared? Uh, because it's, I don't know. And are you familiar with paddle ships? Yes. Okay. But only on four wheelers. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. So if we go off in the dirt, I'm totally comfortable out there. Jared versus Jill. Go. Oh. Very good job. We passed a few people. We got you faster every lap. That was amazing. Oh my gosh, how awesome was that? Now we're gonna go check our track time. Yeah, but Jaden says I'm a lot faster. Yeah, I, I said that. <laughs> they give us a USB stick that goes into the car and that tracks everything that on the cameras, what we say, all the track times. It's pretty cool. The results are in. Yeah. <laughs> She just barely beat me. Yeah, we both had 101 for our best lap, but in the split seconds, I was just, just a hair. <laughs> just a hair I absolutely demand a rematch. Yeah, okay, well, while we're doing that, take a look at our Trailhead Adventure, brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. I'm Reese Stein, at your leisure in Thermopolis, Wyoming, home to amazing hot springs, which have been curing the aches and pains of people for thousands of years. So it'll cure my back ache and it will. All right. You spend enough time in there, it sure will. From the Greek, Thermopolis is literally hot city. And from the abyss below, hot mineral water emerges, 130 degrees hot, three and a half million gallons every day, reputed to be the largest single mineral hot spring in the world. It carves colorful channels through a pristine grassy plateau, filling pools along the way. A boardwalk leads visitors through this magical maze, not unlike another Wyoming landmark not too far away. A little bit of Yellowstone. Um, the smell, it's a little bit of that faint sulfur, which is reminiscent of my childhood, so I like it. And the green of the, of the trees is nice, the grass, it's a beautiful area. It's like something for everybody here. Uh, I think they're pretty cool. They don't smell too good. Like It kind of smells like rotten egg, to be 100% honest. Still super hot, the water spills over the brink and into the Bighorn River, leaving in its path a coating of calcium carbonate and two dozen other minerals shimmering in the Wyoming sun. In 1896, the government purchased the springs from the Shoshone tribe and created Wyoming's first state park. 
best views of the terraces are across the swinging bridge over the Bighorn, this year celebrating its centennial. Some of the escaping spring water is captured by three swimming pools, including the teepee pool. We get our water out of the big spring. Really? All of it? All of it comes from the big spring, yes. But it's hotter at the big spring than it is here. Yes, it is. It is. How do you control the temperature? Through a heat exchanger. It cools itself down as it comes to us. So you don't add cold water? No, there's nothing added to it at all. The water is bathtub comfortable with a couple of slides we just couldn't keep the kids off of. Thermopolis locals make the state bathhouse pool a daily ritual. Because I have a bad rotator cup and a little bit of arthritis. What does this do for it? It um, warms my bones from the inside. The state bathhouse is free. You can stay in for 20 minutes. It's about 110 degrees and it's wonderful. Complete the pool trifecta with a dip in star plunge and dry off with a drive through the state park's bison compound near the springs. Here a few of these symbols of the old west roam relatively free in a large enclosure. But this little gal has her own corral. Mia is here because her mom was a young cow. It was her first calf and she had her close to the road and there was a lot of traffic that day so she got up and she took off because she was afraid and kind of forgot that she had a calf. Five and a half week old Mia still needs to be bottle fed three times a day and we have the honor of giving her dinner. You're doing good. Just tip up the bottom a little bit. Good job. Uh, it was like playing tug of war with a gigantic dog <laughs> because she just would not stop trying to pull the bottle out of my hand. Maya will be returned to the herd soon where she'll be hand fed until she is weaned. Before the bison, there were even bigger critters here, and Thermopolis boasts a wonderful museum and fossil preparation lab and nearby dig site. It features the most complete skeleton of the 100-foot-long Supersaurus and 29 other critters, some with lots of teeth. Back in town, 19th century humans frequented the Hole in the Rock Saloon, the feature attraction at the County Museum. The handcrafted bar may have been a hangout for Butch and Sundance, who had a hideout just across the Bighorn River. Today, the Bighorn is popular with river runners and renowned for its fly fishing. Local guide services can provide all the fun for a price. Jeremy Brandle of Grable often lands monsters like this big brown trout and some nice rainbows. Suddenly a slow fishing day really picks up. So much fun in Thermopolis, Wyoming. I wasn't familiar with this area at all and everywhere I go I'm, look at that, look at this. Boys, pay attention, look over here. Reese Stein at your leisure soaking it all in in Thermopolis, Wyoming. The nine to five here is five to nine. We earn our scars. We wear our work ethic. We work until the work's done. And when it is, there's a family to raise, a neighbor to check on, a country to feed. A few hours of shut eye to rest up for tomorrow, the day will finally get something done. The new leader in off-road utility, the completely reinvented Ranger XP1000. It's got the most power, the largest towing capacity, the highest ground clearance, and the best comfort and storage. Introducing the all-new Polaris Ranger XP1000, the hardest working, smoothest riding Ranger ever built. Too often we find ourselves in shoes like these, or these. Wouldn't it be nice to change into something more like this, or this? How about these? Put on whatever shoes you prefer. 
and come to Beaver County. We have exactly the adventure you need to put under them. So the next time you want to change out of these, come to Beaver County where you can jump into a pair of these. Beaver County, Utah. Lace up for adventure. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. Don't we, pay any attention to those numbers on the, on the bottom. <laughs> it's just merely, a, you know, a, a, yeah, you know, just happened to stood right? there. We had to keep her in the shot. So. We are on the podium because I won. <laughs> just, just barely. barely but still. I need a rematch. <laughs> <laughs> but still, it was it was so much fun. This is an amazing place to be. You, you know, just even to come here, it is such a cool place with all these exotic cars. They let you go out and sit in them and touch them and feel them and you know it's really kind of fun and then of course all the other things they offer. The instructors were fantastic. I just was amazed at how they could stay so calm while we're going, <laughs> while we're going 100 miles around an hour around the track. Well you know and you kind of think they're in there to kind of slow you down but they're no. not. He's like put no. it down and, yeah. and okay hit the brake okay now get after it yeah, again. And they're, they're here to get you to go faster and to, to see what you can do. Yeah, it's amazing. And, so, and that's kind of cool because you don't you don't really know what you're doing and that really allows you to to learn how to drive the car better and push the car faster and faster. Yep they tell you exactly what line to take and you can point at a cone and go and it was it was just a fa fabulous experience. All right. So right now we need to get to our calendar of events though. Thanks Darren and Jill where the holiday season is upon us and just this coming week on the 27th of November in Tooele at the Benson Grist Mill, there'll be the first Christmas lighting ceremony and live nativity of the season. Everyone is invited to come out to the Benson Grist Mill for this event. Also in Tooele on the 2nd of December at 10 a.m. will be the Santa Claus Parade. Please come out and join us. It's going to be a great way to usher in the Christmas season. Let's take a look at next week's show. In seven days, we'll be running, leaping, and backflipping through the urban centers of the West as we find out about one sport that allows you to explore in a whole new way. From there, join Chad and Rhea as they enjoy the warmth of Southern Utah with some county commissioners who have a few things to say about public lands and the joy of discovering the beauty of the Southwest. All that and more coming up in just one week on the next episode of At Your Leisure. Next week's show looks really good, but man, have we had a great time here today. It has been fantastic. If you get a minute, well, if you get some time, come down to Exotics Racing and enjoy this experience. It is awesome. Yeah, they have one of these in Southern California, also here in Las Vegas. And as you can say, if you love the sound of high speed, this is a great place to come. Well, you need to get out and create your own adventure. At your leisure. Did you forget your name? <laughs> you got too excited. Everybody knows that. Right. The driver sitting right next to us. That was awesome. And that yes. way we can say wrap it up. No, I was just saying yes. Yeah, Not step forward. Oh.